In this uh, video, I am going to explain how this uh, phase lock loop works as frequency demodulator. A frequency demodulator is a circuit that is going to recover the original message signal. For example, this is the carrier and message signal. This is the FM modulated signal. From this FM modulated signal, we have to recover back this message signal. In this case, uh, we have taken an example as sinusoid as a message signal. Based on this variation of amplitude, this carrier frequency is varied in accordance with the message signal. So this signal is given to this phase lock loop. From the PLL, we have to recover back uh, this original message signal. A phase lock loop demodulator. And this is the circuitry about the PLL. A PLL is a frequency or phase sensitive feedback control circuit used in frequency demodulator and synthesizer. Frequency synthesizer means an oscillator. PLL have the following three blocks. One is phase detector. Next, voltage controlled oscillator. Then it is a low pass filter. So this is used to compare the phases of the FM signal and this VCO signal, these two signals. And VCO, it is an oscillator. Based on this input voltage, it generates a frequency. Low pass filter, so it is a smooth the output. Okay. And how it works? Uh, let us look at this is the message signal received FM signal and FVCO from this PLL we have to recover back the original modulated signal that is a modulating signal so now how this VCO works voltage controlled oscillator VCO generates an output signal whose frequency is proportional to the input voltage that is a, also in this case we are called it as a error signal this is a feedback system so based on this output it is going to generate a frequency by varying the input dc voltage the output frequency of the signal is varied vco operates the center frequency in the absence of an any input voltage means if there is no input it generates a, some fixed frequency that is called as a center frequency when it is a, this start varying input it may go above this fc or below this for example fc is a 1 kilohertz it may generate a output is above 1 kilohertz or below 1 kilohertz that is depends on this this is about the vco next phase detector this is the phase detector phase detector has a two inputs one received fm signal another one is a output of the vco these are the two Phase detector compares the phase of frequency modulated signal and an input signal. That is a FM signal is an input signal. Another input signal is a voltage controlled oscillator output. That is we will call it as a FVCO. This we will call it as a FM. It, uh, what actually it will do? It is a multiplier. Multiplies the input signal and VC output signal. When we multiply these two, it produces an output having a high frequency component and low frequency component. For example, this is a cos A and cos B. So multiply cos A cos B or even cos A into sin B or sin A into cos B. When we multiply and those using trigonometric that when we simplified it, the output of the phase detector is Fm plus Fvco plus fm minus fvco means it generates a like cos a plus b cos a minus b like that okay fm plus fvco plus fm minus fvco fm is the received signal modulated fvco is a it is a carrier generator and look at these two components uh, this is the fm plus fvco it is a high frequency for example this is one kilohertz and this will be the nearly 900 hertz 1 kilohertz 900 it is a 1.9 kilohertz and 1 kilohertz minus 900 means it is hardly 100 it is a low signal low frequency signal means it has a to high frequency 
and low frequency component. And this is the output of the phase detector. Low pass filter means it has a um, the output of the phase detector is given to the low pass filter, removes the high frequency component and allows only low frequency. Means this is high frequency and low frequency. What it will do? It will remove this and it gives the this signal. This low pass filtered signal is the modulating signal. Actually, this is a message signal. Low pass filter, what is a filter? Filter, in this case, the low pass filter. And the output is a DC voltage. So, based on the frequency variation, its output will be go on varying. If there is a phase or frequency difference between the FM and the input wave signal, the phase detector output varies in proportion. If the phase detector input signal is zero, if this is zero, then VCO operates at the free running frequency. Means there is no error, output is zero. And then how this PL operates? It operates in a three mode, free running mode, capture mode, and block mode. Means how this PLL works as a FM demodulator. Now, free running mode in the absence of an FM signal, if FM signal is zero, then it operates at the center frequency. Means the VCO generates a center frequency. And next is the capture mode. Once the input signal is applied here and these two are multiplied, FM signal is applied to the phase detector, it start varying the VCO frequency. Uh, output okay, if less than or greater than, output okay means it will compares to these two signals. Any variation that will be appeared here, it start varying increase or decreasing the frequency. The error signal adjusts the VCO frequency equal means it go on varying. When these two signals are same, when these two signals are same, it output is a, then it is a zero. This action is referred as a capturing the input, lock mode. Once the input signal is captured, once it, then the PL remains in the lock mode. In lock mode, FM plus FVCO, sorry, FM is equal to FVCO. Both are same, FM is equal to FVCO. Yeah, how, and again, how it works. Uh, FM signal is applied. These two are compared here, yes. And the output of this is high frequency component and low frequency component. These two are passed through a filter. It gives the this low frequency component. If any increase, so it generates the increase in frequency or decrease in frequency. And these two again compared. At some point, these both are equal then the output is zero in this way the output is increasing or decreasing so like that it is it, it generates a demodulated signal yeah then when initially when we switched on the pll means when the circuit is switched on vco starts running at center frequency but whenever it's switched on, it generates a center frequency at the beginning. Okay. Uh, it has its FM signal and it has an FVCO signal. Then phase return start comparing. This will be start comparing these two frequencies in the beginning. Okay. If there are if these two are not same, yes, these two are not same, an error signal, okay, then error signal will be generated. It start adjusting. Okay. It is generated through the low pass. Based on the error signal, we see move increase or decrease the frequency. Some point of time, both input signal and VCO signal are equal. This condition is called locked condition. This condition is called locked condition. Yeah. Okay. And I am also shown some diagram here. This is the capture range. This is the frequency. This is the F0. Means that that uh, it is tuned here okay vco tone means f vco it is f naught this is the frequency tuned in the absence of the input signal and uh, this this point this is the capture range here okay this will be the capture range and this is a lock range uh, this is the center frequency means local oscillate vco is always running at this frequency 
and our input signal may be within this range. Message signal may be within this range. Means during the initial op condition, to get the PL to be locked, the input frequency must be within this capture range. So then only it will be start demodulating. And once it is locked, okay, once it is locked, means initially VCO doesn't know which frequency that signal is coming. But that signal, FM signal, initial condition, it should be within this only capture range. Then only it is going to demodulate. Otherwise, it will start swinging. It is unable to demodulate. Yes, okay, once it is in the capture range, once it is locked, then any variation, any variation of the again FM signal from this point to this point, this is called as a locked range. It means once the PL is locked, it can track the input signal within this lock range also. So it means lock range, capture range. Capture range is always less than a lock range. It means when initial time, so your message signal, whatever the received signal, FM signal, if it should be within this, it will start slowly, VCO start varying, okay, increasing or decreasing. Finally, at some point, it capture, it catches the input signal. VCO is capable of tracking the input frequency wide range. The range of frequency over which PLL can track the input signal and remain locked is known as lock range. Once the input signal is captured, the PLL remains locked. The range of frequencies over which PLL will capture an input signal is referred as the capture. 